in today's session we will see how what is sequential logic circuit and what is the difference between the combinational circuit and sequential logic circuit and what are the classifications of your sequential logic circuit first of all so in the last class we have seen about the combinational circuit so what is combinational circuit whenever i am going to give input accordingly depending upon the present state of the input i am going to get the output whereas whenever i want to convert this circuit to a sequential circuit then in that case i have to add a memory element so when this memory elements are included it becomes a sequential circuit okay so in this case your output depends on the present state and the input okay so this memory element it can be a flip flop flip flop is a device a memory element which can store either 0 or 1 okay here depending upon your past state it is going to continuously change so once you get the output depending upon the data again it is going to be fed back so for the memory element you will have two states one is the present state and after the output comes you have the next state okay so when a memory element is going to be included in the combinational circuit it is called as a sequential circuit now we'll just see the differences between the combinational circuit and a sequential logic circuit here output when you are going to say it is going to depend upon your present state okay whereas whenever you are going to go in for your sequential circuit it is going to depend upon your present state as well as the past output okay next whenever you are going to come for your combinational circuit whenever i am going to give some input suppose if i want to perform the function of addition i will just use a or gate so i just give the input accordingly whatever i want to do the addition process i will get the output immediately so it is faster since it incorporates a memory element so the data has to pass through this and you have to get the output you will have a delay in it so the circuit will be slower when compared with your combinational circuit now the memory element in case of combinational circuit you don't have any memory element whereas in case of your sequential circuit you will have a memory element which is incorporated in it now whenever i am going to take a combinational circuit it is easier to design whereas since it contains the memory elements it is not easy to design now we will move on to the classification of sequential logic circuits generally if you are going to take a logic circuit it divides into combinational circuit and sequential logic circuit in sequential logic circuit you have two types one is your synchronous mode another is your asynchronous mode when i say it as a synchronous mode everywhere i will be giving the clock pulse that is your output will change whenever i am going to give the input output will change only based on the clock signal only at discrete instant of time your synchronous circuit will work okay depending upon my clock signal depending at the input whenever i am giving output will change whereas here the output changes independent of your clock signal at any instant of time the data as will be changing okay now in this synchronous circuit if you see you have two types one is your more circuit another is your mele circuit moving on to your asynchronous type you have two types one is your fundamental mode another is your pulse mode so generally if you want to have a general uh, idea on distinction of your combinational and sequential circuit in day to day application if you could have seen the old fashion solitaire tv and all you will have a rotatory channel for moving your channels but nowadays you are using the push button so the older rotatory moving channel type is your combinational circuit whereas you are using the push button up and down for selecting the channels in nowadays right so in that case whenever you are going to use the output is going to depend upon the past sequence of the inputs in this case so whatever in today scenario we are using it comes under your sequential circuit so with this i conclude thank you students